That's a great day. Wellness Wednesday. Our next guest used to have a bra size of triple J. To put that in perspective, that would be like having two healthy sized newborns on either side of your chest. Nikisha Ellis finally decided it was time to make a change. She went to Dr. Franklin Rose at Utopia Plastic Surgery and Med Spa to undergo one of the largest breast reductions in Texas. In a few minutes, we'll see what a difference the surgery made. But first, here's a look at what life used to be like before Nikisha headed off to the operating room. It was just like a point in my life. I think I was probably about 28 years old and things just started slowing down with me not being able to do a lot because of my breasts. I didn't want to go out in public a lot because I had to always wear a bra and I couldn't stand for long periods of time and socialize like other people. And so it just became a problem all around. When I go out, you know, when it's time for me to go to work or anything, I put my bra on, go, and then before long, I'm, I'm ready to come home because it's just so strenuous on me. The pain level is usually nine or eight. Um, it's, it's just my shoulders. I, I'm, if I'm out, I'll take my strap down just to get some relief. It's, it's strenuous on my back. My back hurts me. Sometimes even my feet in the morning when I get up. I don't even have the energy to work out. It's, it's, it's a lot, you know, uh, trying to just get in position and to work out, it, it's a lot. It, my breasts get in the way. I can't, you know, sports bras, I really, I can't fit any sports bras. Um, and it, to hold it to where they wouldn't bounce in my face when I'm running or anything. I have to sleep on my side, pretty much. And my, sometimes my arms are numb from the pressure. So when I wake up, I have to move my fingers just so the numbness can go away and reposition myself. I've been thinking about coming to him ever since probably about last year or two years ago, but I just really just said I'm done. I'm, I can't, I wanna travel, I wanna do things, but this is holding me back from jobs and everything else. So I finally just told my husband, let's go in and see Dr. Rose. and. When I came in, we talked, and I knew that he would be a good surgeon for me. When I decided to go with Dr. Rose, um, he made me feel comfortable. Uh, he actually was more concerned about my health than anything else, you know. Um, the money part, whatever, it just, it was more about my health and what I wanted, you know, and that what, made me feel a connection with him because I didn't just want to go to any surgeon just that just wanted to do the surgery and didn't care about you know my concerns and everything he did so I thought that was really a blessing to have he was like you I can help you you are definitely a candidate and um, I want to help you you know with your being comfortable and being able to you know work and do different things that you want to do uh, and he just told me that I don't have to worry about anything. He was going to take care of me. And we will see a lighter, happier Nikisha in just a minute. But first, let's talk to Dr. Franklin Rose. Uh, what goes into an actual reduction? Because if somebody comes in for a consultation, it might be a reduction, it might be a reduction and a lift. Several things, it depends. Well, this is Nikisha's pre-op photos. And these are natural breasts, by the way, oh, right? This is all her. Yeah. And we're going to see the, we're, we're going to see the post-op reveal in just a moment. But anyhow, Nikisha came in and maybe I've examined 10, 12,000 breast patients over these years. And it was just so enormous. Yeah. And this poor patient, patients like Nikisha, uh, back pain, they go into kyphosis. You know, we just had a chiropractor with us who would tell you that it just comes down and down. And this poor this girl. This is not just aesthetic. Oh, yeah. no. This poor patient was going to end up like this with the passage of time just curved down. So this really, uh, yes, it's cosmetic in the sense you'll see we've given her mm -hmm. a beautiful breast, uh, but it's really reconstructive in the sense these patients have back and neck pain, brassiere strap grooving, and it's just, it helps all of these patients such yeah. as Nikisha. Well, who should look at getting a reduction? Well, really, it just sort of depends on the patient. If the patient uh, is just so large that, in, in, in all reductions, a lift should be performed okay. uh, in response to your question. But if the patient just feels that she's getting back pain, and in, in the case of Nikisha, just so much pain all the time, 
uh, they're really a candidate for breast yeah. reduction. And then sometimes an implant can actually go in there too to fill things out? Uh, well, like in the case of Nikisha, no. Usually yeah. there's so much, we can make it look like an implant, and she would look like yeah. maybe she has an implant, <laughs> she, but you can just reshape and re-sculpt the native tissue to make it look quite yeah. attractive. And that is exactly what you did. So to our audience, you ready to see Nikisha now? I think everybody's ready. Right, I'm ready. So there she was before, and here she is now wearing something that she would have never worn before. Oh, wow. Okay, Nikisha, come have a seat over here. That is amazing. Thank you. Oh, you look beautiful. Right. You look great. Let me just start with, you could have never worn something like this before. Never, never. Yeah. We talked a lot about how uncomfortable this was for you physically, yes. but the other thing was how people would stare at you out in public. How did that make you feel? It just made me feel uncomfortable. You know, I didn't want to really go out or, you know, do job interviews, you know, because I think I would think they would pay so much attention to my press. Yeah. I was in the restroom with you earlier and you yeah. were looking at your outfit, talking about the fact that you had to go shopping for new clothes. Yes. I know I, Dr. Rose actually did mine as well. I didn't have I didn't have as much as you had working <laughs> with. But the the thing is is that it changes everything. I got to go buy pretty bras, you know, yes. my clothes change. Yes. You get to buy pretty bras. Yes, anywhere. I can go anywhere. I don't have to shop at the big section for my top and then go shop for my bottom in a smaller section like I can just go to Walgreens if I want and buy a pretty dress yeah yeah we're talking yes. about Walgreens because yes. if y'all don't know in the drugstore like right back next to like the Pepto-Bismol and the plastic shoes they have yes. some cute little clothes in there sometimes yes. but yes. Uh, yeah but, but you know even yes. on the, like before what you were wearing was not even you can't even call it a, a bra it was a contraption yes yes well, uh, and expensive too she is very young she's in her mid-30s and you can see she's very beautiful mm -hmm. I mean just beautiful on the inside and out and and so what happens in a case like this is you're just, you're almost transforming the patient into a butterfly. Yeah. And so she just, you can see her whole outlook pre-op compared to here now, post-op, yeah. uh, it's like a different human, yeah. in a sense. Well, it's a different body. For yeah, sure. yeah. <laughs> but, uh, let's speak to her, her husband and her mom are in the audience right now. And to your husband, did you see a difference in her like almost right away. Yes, a big difference, a big difference. And she's definitely smiling and happy now, and, and I'm definitely happy for her. Dr. Rose did a tremendous job on her, and she's smiling a lot more now. And to your mom over here, uh, to watch your daughter go through this, that had to be really tough. But on the back end now, uh, I'm sure it just makes you so happy to see her really look at herself in the mirror and, and love herself. Yes. Yes, she's really pretty. And you know, beautiful and all the, the surgery and everything was well. She looked real nice. Yeah. All right. The other thing that it does, Dr. Rose, Thank is that. You, Dr. Rose. Yeah. <laughs> I like, you know, even for me, people thought I had lost a lot of weight because I had all this in the camera. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't really a lot of weight, it just it wasn't so thick looking before. And so for you, people are like, you lost a lot of weight. Yes, yes, yes. Well, we took off in excess of about 15 pounds of tissue. So right. that, that was Dr. That was... Rose's magical quick weight loss. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, right. the, the typical breast reduction, obviously, I mean, one of the reasons we're featuring yeah. uh, her on your show so kindly uh, is that um, it was really out of all of these breast reductions, three or four thousand over all of these years, this might have been the second largest one, the first largest one in Texas. The last patient was from out of, in Houston. The last patient was from out of town, and so that big. But uh, but so she's so gratified and happy. And yes. I've watched her just as many patients in plastic surgery. You watch the patient just sort of transform. Self-esteem. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, you look fantastic. Thank Congratulations. You. And for more information on Dr. Franklin Rose and the Utopia Plastic Surgery and Med Spa, you can call this number 713-622-2277, 713-622-2277, or visit PlasticSurgeryRose.com. You can get a list of all the cosmetic surgeries and procedures done with Dr. Rose and his team.